Cam. Yay show. As you can see, we are in a hospital. You know, all the bunk beds. Day 31. And we made it to St. Jen Pan Depart. I made another video, which showed my excitement in more of the room, so we won't do that again. But, ah, I got my shell, and it's kind of tied to my bag, so I can't really... Yeah. Oh, fuck it. No, we'll do it. Oh, no, we got the shell. 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 There are two ways. The left way, sorry, headphones. The left way is that very steep, oh my god, climb that he has just been around for who knows how long. You know, people die. Well, not die, die. People have died. But, oh my god, I'm just so excited. I have so much information to give. I'm trying to use quickly before my roommate comes back. Cause his name is Joseph. And I know that because I looked at the sheet. Joseph Green? Jermaine? Carmine? Something like that? But, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. So, he's like the only other pilgrim I've seen today. I saw like other people with backpacks, and I was like, oh, more pilgrims, but they got off at like stops before this one, so I'm like, are you still going somewhere? Like, you were on the train with me from where I left, so. And, you know, it's like, I'm excited. I got this place for a night for 10 euros. Breakfast in bed! Yeah! Breakfast is at 7, ends at 8, which means I have to like leave from 6. Oh my god. You know, it's happening. But yeah, so there's two ways. The left way is where, oh my god, you know, like you can hide. And the right way, I'm guessing, is new. And it is along a road, because I know, because there's a little thing that says. But in this packet, in this packet, by the way, people speak French and Spanish here. So, you know, they're like, bonjour, and then they're like, you know, gracias, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> Which one do you want? Merci or gracias? So, mm. but in this packet, I keep, like, key information. <laughs> but in the packet, it's like the third time I've said that, dear God. <laughs> is, you know, the map to get out. The map... Fuck, I'll just open it. Oh, that means stop. Sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. We have this. We have a little paper. So, you know, my bed number is 116. My credential, as we all know, is super, uber awesome. And it's got two new stamps from the Travel Academy video. And then the Texas channel. So I'm just like, it's so official! And it takes us all the way to Kongsbeck. Kongsbeck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, it's snowy, by the way. Not snow, snow, but like, you know, it's raining. But you look up and you see it doing this. And you're like, rain doesn't do this. Rain does this. Or this. It doesn't do this. So I'll tell it too fast here. Rain does this. Or this. You know, it's too dark to come out. Snow does this. It does this. Fuck. And then, we have this lovely... <laughs> I know it looks weird, but it's just this graph of, like, elevations and altitude. And apparently, if I, like, follow this, it will take me 34 days. Thirty four days to get to Santiago. Santiago, Compostela. The only problem is 
is that on some of these days, it's like 25 plus kilometers. Like... I mean, I saw one that was like super huge. Give me a second. We'll just go with day 29 because it's the most basic one. Oops, 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 day 29, 27.5 kilometers. Just a fun day. Yeah, but that's a day one. I love it. So usually people will go up that entire mountain, and that was the left way. So now they've made the right way to the other side. So, yeah. I'm not totally going to die on the first day. And this is kind of the same thing. And it's for, you know, the fifth day. So who knows? Maybe, like, people are getting more tired of themselves. It's like, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. So, you know, and it tells me the deadline. So that's important. And then, the weather always helpful. I don't have a phone. My phone doesn't work. You can have my phone. Yay. Just give me that. And then, this. Beautiful day. It is a list of all the ref 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 refugees. No. Refugees. All the hostels, all the sleeping places. <laughs> so, we're gonna try to finish this up just in case I get all the. Shut the fuck up! I mean, it's almost seven, so. You know, it's not late, but pretty much it like shows all these towns. All these towns. All these towns and like how far they are. So you know, Valkyrius is like the next one, but. Rocky Peaks is like 26.5 kilometers. Oh, and this paper that tells me how to get out says that it could take anywhere from 6 to 7 hours. Not including stops. So I'm like, <laughs> fuck. But I'm excited. Because it also has the prices. And nothing is over $20. So it's like. The only thing is, you know, it's like. Do you have internet? I probably don't. And then it's like, I could, I could make a hotspot out of my phone. It's just, you know, it's gonna go real quick and I'll have to like, do, you know, only this. I probably will do that. That's probably what I'll do. I don't know. I don't think it will work because I can't access the network. So it's like, I don't mm -mm. My phone doesn't work because you know there's all these numbers and it tells me how many rooms there are at that place i think it also tells me like the time frame that it's open and it offers food and i don't know what shafega is Gilio accepti i don't know and then observation there's a lot of donovito so i really don't know what that is Oh, but it's a symbol for food. And then the Precy and the Dab ATM. So, there's a last step on this. Also, it takes me all the way to. The Feast of Rail. Or, you know, the end of the world. I'm just like, yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Do it. Let's 
great. Because it's like, I could theoretically walk as much as I want and have a spot. Because it's like, every town is like, and 10 kilometers away, you know, it's just like 6, 9, 5, 7, 4, 2, 3, 5, 4, 9. So if I get to a town, and I'm like, oh, I think I can, I can keep going, and I look and, you know, it says, you know, 12 kilometers, I'm like, you know what, let's stop here today. So, important. Important! 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 That information, and then I have to adjust it. For tomorrow, for the first playtime. But yeah, so I might have a travel buddy tomorrow. You know, walk with him, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. She builder, like thirty five. You know, got that old look that needs anything. But yeah, that. I mean, we can go over what happened today. I woke up from my hotel. Internet was weird as always. Like, get on Facebook, no problem. Get on Netflix, no problem. Google, no. Google Maps, yes. International Movie Database? No. College Humor? No. Nine Gag? No. Random News Website? No. Like, what the fuck? So, you know, it was just really weird internet there. And then, you know, the train station next to my hotel has no internet. So, like, also, I got there at the perfect time. My train was leaving in, like, ten minutes. I was like, oh, fuck. Because, you know, I couldn't look up times. So I was like, alright, it's 11 o'clock, time to go. So actually I left around 10.47. And I got there and they're like, yeah, at 11.15 it's gonna go. And I was like, the train is taking three minutes. <sighs> okay. And there was Wi-Fi at the place I was. And I think there was a homeless guy. He didn't look homeless. I mean, he did, but he didn't. He just looked like, you know, a scraggy guy. Like, he had to stuff. Pigeons are fierce. Especially those handicapped ones. Jesus. Like... There's a pigeon with like no feet. He had nubs. And like these other pigeons were just like chilling and like, you know, threw some bread and the pigeon, you know, we call him Nubby. Nubby was like cool and he's like, oh man, thank you for the food. And another pigeon came and he was just like, bah, 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 bah. and he's just like, Jesus, Nubby, calm down. And like he'd like fly up in front of me and just like hover and he's like, and I'm just like, Jesus. And I like throw some bread and he just like starts eating. I'm like, ah, Nubby, you're so aggressive. I was like, I think there was a juvenile pigeon there, because it was tweeting, and the other birds were, you know, you know, they were doing the pigeon sound, the coo, pigeon coo, you know, the other one was, you know, like, tweet, 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 I'm just like, are you supposed to be a pigeon? You look like one, but not really. So, I stayed at that station for like three hours, and then this tiny little two-cart train comes up, and I'm like, is that my train? I'm just like, yeah, it's my train. And I ride it for like an hour, and I, you know, the people who I thought were pilgrims, you know, got off like two stops early, and I'm just like, it didn't even look like a train station. I thought we were just stopping for something, you know, like it broke down, because I looked around, there was nothing. So I, like, I looked to the left, and I could barely see it, but there was like this like tiny wooden bus stop looking thing, and like two people with backpacks get off, you know, and I thought they were like pilgrims, and I'm like, why are you getting off here? A lot of sheep. Oh my god. So much sheep. Like a ridiculous amount of sheep. Like every time I saw them, I was just like up against the middle, like sheep. They looked really tall. But their butts were black from you know, poop and dirt. And then we saw cows, and then we saw horses, and then we saw ducks. Not ducks, I mean some weird black birds. I think they were hawks because they were just like fucking soaring over those mountains and just like that fucking flap. Flap is for pussies. Nah. Yeah. Um and then we got off the train. And I'll admit when I got off the train and like looked at the train station I was like 
it's the same key and feeder. Like, I was like, ooh, this is not what I expected. I'm walking, I'm walking. And I see this thing, it's got fucking gauchos all over it. So I was like, oh, let me get in there. And like, one of the ladies on the train was like, oh, it's closed. And I was like, of course it is. And she's like, go that way. And I'm like, okay. And it's a little almost burp a little okay. And it's so funny, like, how quickly the town changed from, like, you know, super modern, like, uh, to, like, Oh my god, fancy, you know, medieval. Like, it's just like cobblestone, there's like an archway. And as soon as I like pass through it, it's like going into fucking medieval times. There's just like cobblestone everywhere and like just old shops and like, you know, use ale. And I'm just like, oh, I'm like, this is what I expected. And here it is. Walker, found a scout show place. I honestly thought the first. Scout, not the first one, but like where I went to and I got this crazy packet. I honestly thought that was the place, but they directed me to it. They put it on my back. Not the left, please. No. Because it's dangerous. And you know. It's just, it's just a big no, big exit. No, no. It's funny because he's speaking French and Spanish, and I'm just like, see, we, see, we. No, merci. Gracias. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Also, the people here, people here who own restaurants. Like, there are like six restaurants in the area. All of them closed. I understand it's Sunday, but it's like, dude, dude, come on. All of them closed. There was one, I think it was open because there was lights on, there were people in there, but like I enter and like the main foyer area is dark and it's just like, you know, doesn't look like it's really open for business. It's just maybe it's just like, you know, a family dinner or something. I'm just like, I'm not going to walk into your dining room. So I was like, fuck. So I walked around and I found a place and I got milk and a chocolate prep for five dollars and I was like, mm, I'm still hungry. I was like, fuck this. I kept walking and I found a pizza place and I was like, fuck it. Got me a plaza pizza. Which is yellow bone. Got me a plaza pizza, which is pretty much potato sauce, ham, and cheese. I always put the ham underneath the cheese. I don't know why, but Whatever. It was good. It was like what seven fifty? I was able to get rid of some of my small change. So I was like, yay! Filled me up. That's good. Uh, there's this. Gonna probably watch another maybe two, three episodes of Shameless. And I'm gonna pass the fuck out because I gotta wake up super early. I don't think she'll wake me up, but whatever. So far, this is just me and that guy. Oh, this is tailbone. Oh my god. Give me a grown tail. I'm a fool. A panther. But I got a falcon. I'd be good. I would be good. Or I probably would just take my knife and just be like, fuck it, and just like make the small incision so it'd just be like, you know, be able to come out easier. <sighs> I have a lot of time to think to myself. Ooh, yes. This. Oh, ah, plastic. This small information packet is super amazing. Ugh. And we are gonna send some stuff tomorrow to the Nota Re where the mailbox is. It's a bit backwards, but it'll be fine. Because, you know, it's closed today, so it's not like I can do it. But we'll go tomorrow, send the picture that the Francis Francois did in Paris, send that back. Uh, we'll send the marrow, we'll send the gold coins, the Egyptian sling, and we'll send my black t-shirt. It's like really small, it's a little too tight, I kind of like the whole like loose fit thing. Also, because you know, I'm traveling and most of these places don't have razors, so I'm like too locked up here. I'm just like, Brrr. So, that small shirt kind of does not really hide it, so, you know, it's like, 
there are no razors here, okay? I'm I'm a European woman. I'm, I'm snuggly. It's winter. It's winter. I need all the warmth I can get. But honestly, I don't think I've ever seen it like fully grown out. It's interesting. It's interesting. You know, usually I just see like double. And then I get rid of it, but like to let us see it at like its full natural growth is like, oh, that's what it looks like. It's honestly not that bad. I thought it'd be way worse. Like a guy, you know, like where it's like super like coarse and like curly. You know, like how some armpits almost look like pubic hairs. It's like, what the fuck, dude? But no, like, just, you know, it's just like my fucking hair turns in silky. I don't know if that was the right word to describe it. Well, mm, I'll erase that from your memory. <laughs> but yeah. Charging up phone, charging this. Hopefully, we'll find some internet. Because, I mean, it's such a hassle to take out a bag. And that probably none of the. Oh, boy, does. Wait a minute. Isn't there a hostel that has Wi-Fi? I'm not at that hostel, am I? Hold on. We're gonna need some silk to map. Cause I remember I looked up a hostel. Or a geek. Geek Ulterior. And it's supposed to have Wi-Fi. Huh. Huh? Huh. I don't think I'm there. I don't know where I am. <laughs> Don't do I get into the fi I just need to find a hot spot for my phone. And then I can kind of upload the video, but like its information won't be filled out, so I don't even know when you guys will see this. It'll be a couple days from now. Gosh, the fucking it's been almost twenty two minutes. Oh my god, sorry. Sorry that I'm not sorry, motherfucker. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna end up with that. Kisses. Kisses. Happiness. Yay. Bye.